Marokka Hajj, my own teacher, he's, oh, he's now at least 105. One group in his family says he's 118. But nobody's around that was there when he was born now. He's outlived all of his, the people of his time. But he's at least 105. If you go there, wallahi, I swear to God, people here, there's people here that have visited. You, you saw him. He's a physician right here. I, I swear I could get this physician, he's a ER physician, to testify under oath that medically it's impossible what's going on. Am I making it up? It's not, it's not, there's no way. No bed sores. He sleeps on the floor, the ground, earth, with a, a little bamboo reed mat under it. He smells like musk. I'm not making this up. If you smell his hair, get closer, it's like musk. All he's done his whole life is dhikr of Allah and taught people. He has literally tens of thousands of students all over the world. They say the one thing about his students, all of them are affected by him. Nobody has been with him that wasn't affected by him. I was told by somebody there who's over 80 years old that in the entire time he spent his whole life with him, he never heard him once speak ill of a human being. Not once. Now these people exist to show us that it's possible. They, they exist. We have, we have some room in our own mind to show us that all of this madness is not the only way. There are other ways. But, and this is what our prophet came to teach us. There are other ways. You don't have to go the way of quarrel. You don't have to go the way of wrangling and fighting. That's what we're here, honoring our prophet, because his whole life was for people to find a different way. A way out of the madness of this world, because this world is mad. And if you look at all these prophets, that was their work. That's, that was their work, to find a way out for people, to help them through this. Because this place is a, it's a tsunami. Dunya, it's a tsunami. And what the prophets teach you is the only way to, to, to survive this tsunami is to see it for what it is and meet it head on. Just see it for what it is. It has no power. It has no power. It's an illusion. And once you see that, that it's dunya and it's matar horror, it's just a delusional short period of time. Once you see through it, it disappears. And those are the people, those are the, the odia that walk through this world in a completely different state from other people. They're not perturbed by these things that happen. They don't lose their head in the midst of the insanity. These are the people.